pricey. Celebrity makeup artist AJ Crimson is in studio to show us how to recreate the hottest makeup trends of the season with inexpensive drugstore products. Thanks for dropping by, AJ. Thank you, Chelsea, for having me. So you are saying that we can actually do this with drugstore products. Absolutely. You know, there's no need to break the bank to look great. I absolutely love that answer. <laughs> so now, why do makeup products vary so much in cost depending on where you buy them? Well, you know, sometimes it could depend on the marketing of a product, whether it's going to be a mass product or it's going to be a prestige product. Mm. Uh, often what you're seeing right now is that prestige brands are crossing over and extending, extending their lines into cosmetics. So oh. with that crossover, they're bringing their price points with them. But just because they're expensive, it doesn't necessarily make them Better. Uh, better. Really? Yeah. I had a feeling you were going to say that, but I'm not sure I believe it yet. But I'm sure you'll make a believer out of me. Definitely. Now, drugstore products can be just as good as high end brands, is what you're saying? Yeah, absolutely. You know, like right now, money is tight, you know, and you don't have to do, you know, again, break the bank to look really great. So mm -hmm. things like eyeliner, things like great mascaras, they're also amazing lip color that are available at places like CVS for affordable prices. Really? Yeah. So as long as you know what to buy, you're not going to be disappointed with the no. Oh, you yeah, know, and, and, and it's also a great place to just try all the season's trends without making such a huge financial commitment. Yeah, like if you want to try Big Bright Lip, maybe buy it at a CVS in Absolutely. case you don't like it, then you didn't spend a fortune on it at the makeup counter, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay, so what is worth splurging on? You know what? You definitely want to splurge. If you're going to spend the money, splurge on your foundation. You know, mm -hmm. I always think that that's the great investment. You want to take your time with that. You want to shop around, you know, places. Uh, you know, maybe like your local department store, they have a great uh, variety yeah. uh, to do this. And then they can test it on you too, because yeah. when you go to the when you go to the drugstore, oftentimes I've tried to buy drugstore foundation, and you can't match it. You can't test it out, no. you know, and it's and it's kind of like a hidden a hidden run or a hidden miss, you yeah. know, sometimes. So you know, you definitely want to go to a place where there's a professional available who can try several products, and you may not necessarily like a particular brand, and you want to shop around. Yeah, different skin types. yeah, and it's pretty funny because I did, actually did this, and I have been wearing wearing the wrong color tone foundation for years until Renee, our makeup artist here on the show, told me that's not what I was supposed to be wearing. Right. You so it, it, it works to go to a counter where somebody actually knows what they're doing. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Take advantage of that. So now you're going to show us how to recreate some of the hot looks that you use on your celebrity clients yes. for bargain prices, starting yes. off with Hillary Duff, right? Hillary Duff, yes. Uh, you know, with Hillary, you know, she's just so beautiful. And, Stunning. you know, when you create a look, you definitely, well, I know I always do, I always like to just play up my clients assets and with her she has these beautiful blue eyes yeah. so you know normally on her I would use a product from NARS called Cordora to create this great smoky eye oh, beautiful. but I found a great bargain find from Neutrogena right here. Wow look at this guy okay. Um, this is really awesome because it kind of tells you what to do it's foolproof you know you have your base color which has a little bit of SPF in it which is great uh, it gives you the crease it gives you the accent color and the highlight and if you turn it over on the back it gives you a little diagram turn it upside down. Oh. Yeah, there Sorry. You go. <laughs> That's probably what my makeup looks like when I like, do it. <laughs> yeah, so it gives you this great So it gives diagram. you the diagram. That is genius because the smoky eye most of us women know is extremely difficult to master. Yes. And especially when you get a palette like this and you got so many different colors, you're like, what goes where? Yeah, they definitely made it easy. And, and you know, and it's, and it's just by looking at it, you know the placement now. Yeah. yeah, and, and I've always wanted to try, um, you know, eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore, but never mm -hmm. knew really which ones to buy. So this is a good one. This is definitely a good one. You know, and again, it's a place where you can experiment and try things. This was only nine dollars or ten dollars, perhaps, and as opposed to buying something like the Nars for thirty-two. And then not loving it. Exactly. Okay, so now we're seeing some dramatic eyeliner and lashes now. Eyes with pop. Yes. So dramatic. how do you do that? You know what? You definitely want to go uh, to, towards liner. One of the li eyeliner pencils that I really love is Mac. Um, um, they have a great one called uh, Smolder, but the alternative to that is from Maybelline right here. Uh, it's their definitive uh, liner. expert wear yeah. eyeliner, which is really great. You want to use that. Girls like Fergie and, and Taylor Momsen have been seen wearing, you know, wearing that. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. And anything that can be an alternative to MAC, hey, I'm in. Exactly. And then for lashes, you definitely want to go into something like CoverGirl. They have a great new mascara. Now, I say I love the splurge on... Uh, Dior Show. It's oh, one of my favorite, my favorite too. ones to use, but I think the cover girl, they really brought it home and, and did a fantastic so job. So, this is with comparable this one. to Dior Show? Absolutely. Uh, okay, so. Great brush. Now, Berry Lips, so hot right now. Yes. I have a really funny story for that. Um, I work with Estelle, and I'm with her almost every day. Uh -huh. And we were on our way during Fashion Week to one of the shows, and literally 10 minutes in, she stopped and she was thumbing through a magazine and said, I want to try a Berry Lip. 
I didn't have and any you're of like, my what favorite do I products. Do? Yeah, what am I gonna do? So I made her stop at the at the drugstore, and we pulled over, and I ran inside, and I got two products, uh, like you see right here. And these are literally the two products. That these you are got literally for the two products from us that I got for her. Uh, it's the Outlast Smoothwear Lip Liner, which is awesome, which Turn is really great. Yeah. I'll put it on here. <gasps> That's Look a beautiful that. color. It's really great. It, okay. came, it went out really smooth, and that's comparable to Makeup Forever's number 47 liner, which I love to beautiful use. Beautiful color. And then I took the Revlon, put it right over and I the put top. that right over the top, so I filled in her lip with the lip pencil. How does this look on me? And used this Revlon color there. Pretty? Yeah. Nice. It's really great. <laughs> Well, listen, I love that color, and the fact that it's Revlon, come on, they pretty much invented the red lip. They did, and they, and they make some, some great creamy lip glosses and lipsticks, so. Ah, so excited. Thank you so much. You saved me a fortune. Thank Absolutely. you for stopping Thank by, you. AJ. Coming up, we are going to help you update your Netflix queue when, it, when we see what's new on DVD this week. Stick around. There's more DMS coming up. Love this color. I mean, I see.